Hi, this is Riddick, Big Daddy Bo, the two-time former world heavyweight champion, and you're watching Cool True Sports. <laughs> True School Sports. Cool School Sports. There you go, champ. Thank you. You got him knocking out Maurice? Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Easy. Less than seven. Real talk. I got you, bro. I got you. We got a bro. Hold it down, man. Take pictures. Yeah, I got you. Stand Yeah, I know. Yeah, appreciate it. One, two. Get him back up. Yeah. Hold up. Thanks, bro. Damn, I got you. All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with one of uh, boxing shoe warriors, Regis Progray. How you doing, Regis? I'm good, bro. Just yeah. down there, so, you know, um, body in shot, but I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you, you, have, you got a big fight announced yesterday with uh, Maurice yeah, Hooker. Yeah, me Hooker fighting uh, April 17th. Yeah. How, how you feeling about it? I mean, I, I feel enough cool. It's kind of like every time, you know, um, I just can't wait, bro. I start training camp Monday, so I mean, I just, I'm just like super ready to start, you know, start training camp and just start getting that, you know, getting that grind again, basically. Yeah, how do you feel like, I mean, I know that Josh Taylor fight was a close fight, really could have won, it could have won either way. Right. Um, how do you feel like maybe that, that, that loss has matured you? Has it, has it changed you at all? I think so. I, not that it, it did, but it didn't that much. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because, I mean, of course, it did. You, you think about things that, like, for me, like, I always train for dominance. I don't train for just the win. I always train to just dominate my opponent, you know? Like, so, in that fight, I just did a lot of things I wasn't supposed to do. I, I gave up the middle rounds, and I didn't box like I should have. When I was boxing, I had a lot of success. Um, yeah. You know, I, I just, it was, it was easy for me when I was boxing, but then when it was time to fight, like, you know, that's what I love to do. I love to fight more than anything. And um, I gave up a lot of the middle, a lot of the mid rounds when I fought them and stuff like that. So I know that I probably should have did that. It's so much. Um, you know, I mean, as far as like training camps and stuff like that, I did a three part training camp. I did it in LA, then I went to Houston, then I went to London. And it was just, you know, just a lot. You know, yeah. a lot of distractions. It was a lot of things. So this time, you know, I'm, I'm going to do my whole training camp at home in LA. And, um, and, and cut out the strikes and all my friends and stuff. I'm, I'm sending all them home so yeah. I can just you know be alone and just really concentrate on the task at you know task at home. You know, boxing has to come first. You know, at boxing that world class first, level. You know, and like I said, in, in when I went to London, we just had like a lot of things we was doing. It was just a lot. Of, yeah, you saw you you had soccer games. You were going on the whole. Well, it was something you had to do. You know, but you know, I'm talking about it's like as far as all my people and stuff that was mm. there. You know, like sometimes you gotta you know you gotta know when to cut it on and cut it off basically. So, uh, Okay, um, with, with that fight, you mentioned like, you said something interesting. You said that uh, when you boxed him, you felt you felt like it was easy for you, but you, when, when you didn't box him, it, that's when it got a bit difficult. So why 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 do you believe that maybe you stopped boxing in that fight as much? I'm fighting. Yeah. Yeah. You're too, you're fight. too New Orleans it's, for your own good sometimes. It, 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 I just love to fight, bro. That's the main thing. Bro. I just love to get in there and fight. That it always been like since I started boxing. It, if I feel like I can, hit, I can hit you and I can hurt you and you can hit me and you can't hurt me, I want to fight. And this time it wasn't the case, basically. You know? Cause I, I know I hurt him a few times, I wobbled him a few times, but you know, um, he still got the decision, he still won, you know. So um, that's why I said like now, nah, it's just, you know, you gotta know when to box and know when to bang and stuff like that. You know? So that's that's what I gotta do. It's just me, mentally, I gotta just know when to, you know, know, when to keep boxing and know when to, you know when to fight and just don't do it all the time, basically. It's like, 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 like that country song says, you got to know when to hold them and know when to fold them. Yeah, exactly. That's what I got to do, yeah. You had one of the great boxing quotes of 2019 where you said, uh, I'm the fucking best and these little boys can't, at 140 can't fuck with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, do, you still, do you still feel that way? I still feel I'm the best at 140, bro. I mean, you, if you look at, you know, they got the title holders. You got Josh Taylor, you got Jose Ramirez, and of course, um, you would. The decision could have went either way with me and Josh Taylor, so you know I still feel like I'm the best. No matter what, I still feel like I'm the best. You know, but, um, now it's just all about proving it. You know, getting back hungry and proving things, and that's what I'm doing. I want to, you know, that's why we fighting. You know, if I can't, I wanted them. I'm definitely going to like Josh Taylor rematch like immediate. But of course, we're not going. I'm not going to do that. We know that's not going to happen. I wanted Jose fight. Jose Ramirez fight. Um, that's not gonna happen, you know. So um, the next best thing is, you know, Maurice Hooker. Maurice Hooker. So, um, that's you know, and I'm glad that that's me, you know. And I think for him, same thing. It's a, it's it's like a, a make it or break it type of fight, you know. For 
me and her, you know, because, you know, the winner goes on and we probably fight for another title this year, or even bigger than no title holders, you know, you know, the loser, you know, steps down, you know, and, and you know, that's, that's, that's how it goes. That's, that, that's, how, that's how the cookie crumbles in the sport of boxing. Right, exactly. Right. Okay. You're someone that, that oh, I always see, like, you're always outdoors doing something. So always. You, always. Hey, the thing is, listen, this camp, I'm not doing any of that. I'm no. I said Monday. See, that's it. I'm done. You know, um, if I go, I go back home tomorrow, go back to LA tomorrow. Um, if I go on the beach, you go spearfishing, that'll be my last day doing it. I went a couple of days ago. But yeah, bro, that for me, that's it. I'm done. Um, I think that's the sacrifice that I need to make. Because, uh, you know, last camp, people saw my videos last camp. I was in the water, I was spearfishing, I was doing all kinds of stuff. And I just feel like, you know, like sometimes you have so much fun, it takes, hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? You good? You good? Yeah. So, like I said, sometimes you you know you just having so much fun in training camp, and it's like you gotta go back to you gotta focus. You know, you gotta go back to focus and stuff like that. And I think like last camp, it was when I started. It's hard. It's it's, it's bad to say, but it was kind of like a, like a vacation. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. LA and stuff like that. You having too much fun. Just too much. You gotta focus on the task at hand. You know? So for me, one of my sacrifices, like I'm, I'm gonna just stay away from the water. All the <laughs> yeah. Like I mean, probably be running on the beach and stuff. But as far as like doing all that stuff, like I was doing, um, I'm not doing none of that stuff. Man. I'm, I'm focused only on you know, research. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, no. this, this might sound like a stupid question to you, but you know, it's a question I feel like I should ask. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times when fighters get to that world championship level, mm -hmm. you know, and the business gets involved, sometimes fighters don't love boxing. So what I want to ask you is, do, do you still love boxing? I love boxing. I love, I'm not gonna lie. I love, I love the sport. I love the sport. I love boxing. I love competing. I just love fighting. Period. Mm -hmm. You know. So yeah, I don't think that it could ever be taken. I can't say ever be taken away from me. You know. But I just, for me, I just, yeah, I do. I really love the sport. You know? um, but some, like I said, sometimes you gotta. Just because you love the sport, you still gotta sacrifice more and you know do more about just it's some things that you know like I did earlier in my career to get where I'm at. I stopped doing it now. Yeah, you know? yeah. So uh, I need to go back to that and, and do that. You know. Um, but I love, you go back to your question. I love boxing. Yeah, love that's good. That's good to hear because you know a lot of times you get. You can kind of tell which fighters. I know. I know you love boxing because you can get. You can kind of read between the lines and, and tell which fighters love the sport and which ones are kind of just in it more for the fame. Yeah, you know, I, I love it, bro. I don't like to be honest, bro. I don't like the money is cool and all that. Like, live a great life and all, but like, I don't give a fuck about the money. If I don't win, bro, like, I, like for me, you can you can take the whole purse away from the Josh Taylor fight and give me my. Give me that, that W, yeah. and you know that'll be better for me, bro. I don't care about the belts. You get my belts, bro, and that's cool, you know. But um, you, you just gotta, you still gotta have both of them. You want the money, you and you want the belts and stuff. But yeah, I, I when, when they come to the fights, bro, like when I'm in training camp, when they come like fight night, bro, all I do, I want, like, I want to win, bro. That's it. I want to win, and I don't care about the fucking money. Not after the money. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. But, oh, I gotta check. Yeah, then you gotta check. Or whatever. For me, bro, fuck the money, bro. I love the school. Yeah, well, normally, normally they say if you chase the legacy, if you chase greatness, the money comes anyway. Right, it'll come. Yeah, of course, it'll, it'll definitely come anyway. Like that, but, I, I mean, I love the school. Okay, right, that's good to know. Uh, what, what did you think? What make of the Wilder uh, Fury? Thing? That's like a big talking boxing right now. Yeah, I mean, um, it was. I think, like I keep saying, bro, it was it was Fury's night, bro. You know, I was there. You know, I was in Vegas last weekend, and it was just it was his night. You know, I don't think you can take sometimes like things are set in stone, and it's some it's something you just can't take away from somebody. And I think it was it was his night. You know, like I I seen him in a dressing room before the fight and stuff. He was just you know so um he was dancing and stuff with people. They just relax. Relax and just like it was his night. That's it. You know, I think he, you know, he really beat Wilder up, and it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be interesting to see like um, how Wilder could come back from this, basically. You know, because sometimes when you take a loss, it's one thing, but when you get beat up, like not just beat, beat up, it's another thing. You know, so you know he really beat Wilder up that night. He, he really hurt him. I think. You know, so, it's gonna be interesting to see how he comes back, but like I said, I think it was just his night. Um, he couldn't be beat. And that's it. That's it. Yeah, that, that, that's how it goes. You know, exactly. you've had you've had those nights like where, where where you walk to the ring and you feel like like you say yourself, nobody can fuck with you. You feel like it's your night, bro. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. I, even like I go back to the, the, the Josh Taylor thing. I feel like 
it was his night. You know, that's why I said it. You know, like I still felt like I won the fight, but I still felt like it was his night. You know, I know he had a lot going on in his life, like, um, like somebody died. I think his mm. girlfriend's yeah, yeah, died yeah. or something like that. And McGuigan's sister died a week before that. Um, and then McGuigan had just took a loss on like Luke Campbell. And so you talk about three things that just held losses, 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 you know, so if he would have lost that fight that night, what would happen? You know, what would happen mentally and psychologically to him and the, the, the McGuigan team? You don't know, you know, so for me, um, that's why I just, that's why at, at the end of the fight, I was just like, you know what, it's cool, it's his night, it is, I still feel like I won the fight, but. At the end of the day, if it's your night, it's your night, and that's how it goes. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. You can't, you know, you can't complain. It's, it's you know, some things you, you believe in God. Sometimes it's set in stone already for it to be your night, mm. and that's it. So, can't complain. Okay. How do you feel about like 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 the state of New Orleans boxing? Because you're like pretty much the the, the, the the flag bearer for New Orleans in boxing. Oh uh, man, um, I don't even know the answer to that. I mean, they coming back. You know the things they coming back. You know we got we got some we got some good like some. Becoming fighters and stuff like that, you know. But um, I think it, my my whole goal was to bring it back, bring big time boxing back to New Orleans. And I did it, you know. I did it for a little while and stuff like that. And I, I definitely want to go back home and fight again. Um, but now I think man, I got I got a lot of bigger fish to fry now. You know, yeah. I didn't came from London. I fought in front of twenty thousand people. You know, so now I want to keep being in those stages. You know, so I mean, I'm of course I'm gonna do whatever I can. I want to, you know, bring the bring the big time boxing back. I did it already. You know, I did it once mm -hmm. you know, single handed. I did it already. So I definitely want to go back and do it again and put you know put the up and coming fighters on on the map. Um, but you know, we'll see. But I, I know one thing I did is like. If the if it's not the fighters right now, it's the it's the younger fighters coming up, and um, it's gonna be a lot. I go to a lot of schools out there and do a lot of charity work, so a lot of kids they see, and you know, hopefully in the next you know 10, 15, 20 years, it's just like a, a load of just great boxing, an explosion, boxing, an explosion of boxing coming out of New Orleans, and hopefully it'll be because of me. It's kind of like in uh, basketball, like when Vince Carter played for the Raptors, basketball wasn't big in Canada, but now you see all these Canadians in the NBA. Right. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So that's why that's kind of how I want to be. In, you know, be the same thing in the world as one day. So hopefully it can happen. Okay, Regis. Well, uh, any message to the boxing world about your your fight coming up and your career moving forward? Um, just keep watching, man. Um, I'm, I can't, like I said, I start training camp in, a, in two days, and I just can't wait. Bro. I can't wait to start. I can't wait. To, you know, just um, just get back to where I am. One one spot, one forty. That's why I believe I am. Um, and if people don't believe, if they doubt me. I like it. I love, I love it. My back, my back is against the rope. And um, you know, just just watch. Just watch. That's it. Alright, there you have it. Well, we just progress. Wanna box with your warriors? Thank you for talking to True School Sports. Showtime Sean Porter. It's Eros Mandre. Everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. You're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. Alright, and you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. Thank you.